Afternoon everyone, I'm Steve Bebbington from Jobs Word. I'm going to pass you over very quickly to Steve Job from the Home Office shortly. I uh, just thought it'd be a good idea to maybe give you a quick idea of what we do. Uh, we've got Horsefly, which is an analytics platform. Uh, it can really help with your team becoming more strategic, really help your advisors learn more about the markets. We've also got Whammy, which is a marketing tool, allows you to go straight to the talent you want to speak to, whether they're active or passive. We provide information through Horsefly, such as salary, candidate markets, um, jobs that your competition are advertising, as well as heat mapping the density of candidates. This is an example of the uh, Java skill set. We also show supply and demand to try and help you map whether it's going to be easy, difficult or hard to fill a certain role. We give language information about the candidates, gender breakdown, show the experience level, and we could also show you where the most graduates are coming from. There's your competition. They're the people that are hiring the talent you want to attract. And we show you their adverts. So we're hoping to help you plan more effectively and be able to really attract the best talent. I'm going to pass you over to Steve. He can tell you the story of the Home Office. Thanks, Steve. Really appreciate that. Hi, everybody. Um, Okay, yeah, I work for the Home Office. Uh, I've been at the Home Office now for, how long have I been there? Ten years I've worked at the Home Office, and I'd say the last five have been the most challenging that we've been going through. Um, and So I'm going to take you through some of that journey right now. Um, one of my first days in the, in the Home Office, I got told by one of the senior civil servants th this line. The first duty of the government is to keep citizens safe and the country secure. The Home Office has been at the, at the front line of the endeavour since 1782. As such, the Home Office plays a fundamental role in the security and economic prosperity of the United Kingdom. That stayed with me throughout my time at the Home Office. And whilst we don't pitch that to every candidate that we approach, um, and we don't put that on every advert, it's a great tagline that we can sell to people that want to come to the Home Office and come and work for us. So... I have a team that work with me, and we're responsible for all these business areas, and all of these are within the Home Office. As you can see, some of these are in the news every single day. My team hate me putting these photos up of them, but I do like to celebrate them because they're an amazing team that work behind me, and it's not just me. So, as you can see, we've got Border Force is a key area, but what I'm going to mainly focus on today is Home Office Digital, and give you a bit of an overview about what we've done to, to transform the recruitment, what we've done in Home Office Digital. So, my responsibility as the digital account manager um, is to provide an expert advice to hiring managers, explain what the best routes to market are, um, develop attraction strategies, recommend tools, options, um, and one of the great tools that we use is Steve's tool. Um, that didn't come out quite right. Um, <laughs> Steady on there. I know we're friends. <laughs> And so we use, we use Jobs the Word for uh, identifying the best routes to market, uh, finding where the candidates are, where the candidates are hiding, and trying to reach out to the candidates that we wouldn't necessarily have found before. Um, historically, the Home Office have found it quite difficult to recruit um, into the digital roles, some roles remaining unfilled for 12 months, um, often hiring managers having no idea as to why that was, why that was the case. So... My job is to think of different technologies that we can use, think about planning, creativity, support, how we can come up with new ideas about how to recruit. So again, using Jobs the Word, uh, we use their tool to find out what the salaries were for different job roles, um, where the suitable candidates were in the UK, so we could actually decide whether having people in London for certain roles was the right decision, um, and also looking at the future about developing from talent within. Uh, we use the tool to identify where students were graduating with the right skills that we required. Um, and actually having that information at your fingers is really valuable. Um, so we've used it to target a number of universities in the UK with certain job roles, um, and they've actually... <laughs> I can't go into too much detail because... You can. <laughs> um, 
So what we've used the tool for is to target individuals who work, say, have completed a master's degree in technology or um, programming software development, and we can actually target those individuals using the software uh, and tell them about the home office offer. Um, my next picture is a picture of Wembley Stadium, half empty. Um, and the reason I do show this picture is because this is pretty much what the Home Office was like 18 months ago in our digital environment, where we just didn't have the right staff in the right places doing the job. So what I've done um, is develop an in-house recruitment team um, where we use different platforms. So we're using LinkedIn, Jobs the Word. We have used Dice. Um, and we're using different job tools. We've recently used JobSite, I can see in this room as well, um, to help us get our message out to candidates um, with the aim of filling as many of those hard-to-fill roles as we possibly can. So I'm just going to go through what we predominantly used Horsefly for. So Horsefly can output detailed supply and demand analysis from multiple sectors. So basically what that means is it, it tells us where it's going to be hard to fill jobs. Um, so, for instance, digital, there's a massive plethora of, of developers in London, all getting paid massive amounts of money. We looked at it from the salaries and decided, actually, there is a, lot of number of, there's a high number of digital people living and working in Sheffield whose salaries aren't quite as high. So why don't we move our digital hub up to Sheffield? Or why don't we have another hub in Liverpool? So it, it enabled us to focus our requirements in different areas of the UK. Um, as I've already gone over the universities bit, and Horsefly has helped us to analyse our competitors' jobs, which has been unbelievably great for us. Um, historically, in the Home Office, we've not been great at writing adverts. Um, so what we've done is we've looked at sort of the competition, what, what's out there. And using the Jobs the Word uh, whammy tool, uh, sorry, Horsefly, it enables us to look at our competitors' adverts, see what's working, see what's not working, also see what they're paying their people for the same skills that we're looking for. Um, and that's helped us improve our adverts quite dramatically. So this, I've stolen this from the Jobs the Word website, um, and it sort of explains the, the, the customer journey, if you like. Um, so your customer has its very own fully branded page on Jobs the Word. So the Home Office have now got their own page on there where interested candidates can go and have a look at our vacancies um, and a bit of history of the Home Office and what we do as an organisation. Um, so their artificial intelligence will analyse our job, so we put our job description onto their platform, it, it, using clever algorithms, far cleverer than I'll ever be, identifies the right people in their database with the right skills. Uh, it then sends an email straight into their inbox, telling them exactly what we do, what jobs we have. If they want more information, they can click on the button, and then they suddenly come to our vacancies. That's right, isn't it, Steve? Spot on. Yeah. That's, uh, the <laughs> so, and then we build, a, and also part of that is that we're building talent pipelines. So we're getting people interested in working for the Home Office, interested in understanding what the Home Office does as an organisation. At last look, we had a, a people, a candidate pool of over two hundred thousand people um, that had clicked on the button to have a look at our vacancies since we started using um, Whammy. 18 months ago, two years ago. Um, and we now have access to those 200,000 people and we can go straight to them with our vacancies uh, if they've got the right skills. Uh, I think Steve's got here, there's no need to limit your message. Uh, we can, they use creative graphics. We've got a video on there. I think video content is a real great seller. Because um, again, it just paints the picture and it shows people the potential environment they're going to be working in as well. Um, and that has been absolutely valuable to us. Um, and we're, we're also currently developing a number of new videos for not just the digital area, but other areas of the Home Office as well. So again, we're going to get those onto platforms like LinkedIn, Jobs the Word, and we're going to start connecting them straight onto our adverts. So when people are looking, they can see the potential hiring manager they're going to be looking for, or the team and the environment they're going to be looking in. Um, and a tool like Whammy allows us to get these videos straight into people's inboxes and to be able to have a look at the, at the work that we do. So, I love a, a picture of a full football stadium. So I couldn't actually find a full English football stadium picture for some reason, so I ended up with an American football one. <laughs> so after two years of working with, with Jobs the Word, I would say 
it's been a great success. Um, we filled a number of our incredibly hard to fill roles uh, within the digital environment from senior developers to, to architects um, to cyber security. We filled a number of roles. Um, and without the analytics that Jobs the Word provide us, um, we wouldn't have that information to be able to, to, to find the right people. I wouldn't say it's just Jobs the Word, Jobs the Word are great, uh, but we also use LinkedIn. Um, as a platform, and we've now been using LinkedIn for, for a couple of years, and we have, I think, some 30,000 followers on our, on our home office page, which again, where we post adverts, we post video content, um, and I think that's the biggest change for us, trying to change the ethos of the home office, trying to change the message that people just think that all we deal with is immigration. Um, Almost every single day, you, you see it in the, in the paper, that's what we do. Um, but we do actually do a lot more. Um, as I showed you at the start, we have so many different business areas, and almost every single role that you can think of, the home office somewhere has that. Last week, we were recruiting some, for some vets to work um, for us. Uh, we have data scientists the following day. We have HR professionals the following day. Um, and then we just go back to digital. So we have such a variety of roles that it's important that we have a flexible tool, like Jobs the Word and, and a Whammy and Horsefly, that allow us to, to reach out to multiple people. How many people in your database now? About 11, 11 million? Uh, 11 million in the UK. We've actually got 270 million yeah, go. um, profiles um, pulled from the social web globally. Um, and I'm going to just touch on that shortly. So. I tap into that 11 million quite regularly. Um, and I know Simon and the team who's sitting at the back um, from, from Jobs the Word, um, they, they have really helped us develop our offer. Um, they've been incredibly supportive with developing their own horsefly, developing Whammy to make it fit for our business. So if we've come up with an idea um, that we want to be able to search for a certain thing, they will change their, the tool, if they can, to make it work for us. And also helping with the, the creation and designing of adverts, unbelievably helpful. Um, this isn't a sales pitch for Jobs the Word, even though it is sounding like it. Um, I think that's where I'm going to stop on Jobs the Word. I, I, just, I was talking to some of the guys outside a few minutes ago, and I, and I wasn't here this morning, unfortunately. But I just wanted to tell you about a, a recent campaign that we, we ran, um, where we used um, video technology um, to do our interviews. So it's the first time the Home Office has ever done this. Um, and we did a three-phase interview process, and, and our remit was basically be innovative. Think of something different. We don't want to do the normal, boring, old face-to-face -face interviews. Think of something different. So we were recruiting for policy advisors, quite a big thing with Brexit going on at the moment. Uh, we, we needed to recruit 50 policy advisors quite quickly, and they didn't want to spend the time interviewing these candidates. So we came up with a plan. We created a basic test for people uh, that, uh, that tested policy skills, um, which was put together by one of our third-party providers. Uh, we, we got people to provide a CV and a, and a statement of suitability rather than just filling out civil service competencies which weren't suitable for anybody. But then the most important bit was the end, where we video interviewed candidates. Um, there was no face-to-face -face element as part of, the in, of part of the application process. We went from, from these tests straight into the video interviewing. Um, and we used a company called Launchpad to, to do this. Um, I think the key findings for us were, how do I explain this? The, the key findings for us were that it, it saved so much time. Um, it saved money on uh, interviewing, spending time with your staff, interviewing candidates, bringing them in for, for, for interviews, booking rooms, etc. Um, we also had to look at it from an equality and diversity point of view to make sure that there was limited impact on the people that we were bringing in and, and interviewing. So we ensured that we put additional resources in place to allow people to have face-to-face -face interviews if they require. But in fairness, not out of the 250 applications we put through, not one person didn't want to do the video interview. And what we found with that process is that we've ended up with a much higher caliber of candidates than we had previously when we've done similar recruitment. Um, the innovative part for us was not seeing them face to face. Um, and for a lot of hiring managers or the managers that these people are going to get, that's been a real challenge. And whether that's a success is only going to be found out over the next two or three months as they, as they come into the organisation. 
Um, but I just wanted to, to, to share that with you, just to sort of say that this is sort of the innovative stuff that the Home Office are currently working on. Um, that's me done, so I'm going to pass you back over to Steve now. Um, he, I'm sure he's got more to say. Yeah, just one last slide. We're going to invite questions straight away. It's more interesting for you guys to be able to ask Steve questions and me do a pitch. Uh, but we have moved the whole slide data into France, Germany, Netherlands, the US. We're also building India on demand from Boeing. Really thanks ever so much to Steve for um, filling up most of our slot. Thanks for your time, guys.